When you are setting up your base, the first screen is going to ask you what control point you're setting up on. Uh, the very thing you need to be mindful of is which control point you're physically sitting on. If you start your base on the incorrect point, the software is not going to know. The software is just going to do what it's told, and if you tell it it's on the wrong point, it takes that and runs with it, and now your whole project is going to shift in that direction. If you do connect to your base and you get that set up correctly, and you connect to your rover and you know it's set up correctly, there's going to be two indicators of what's going on if it's not correct. In the bottom left, you have your GPS icon. When it's red, there's going to be an X either over the GPS antenna, which is the left symbol, or the radio antenna, which is the right symbol. If your symbol on the left has the X over it, it means you're not getting GPS. So what's happening here is your rover is either under canopy, it's upside down, or you've left it in the truck and you forgot to take it out in the open. Uh, once you set that up and get it actually pointing towards the sky and get satellite corrections, that sh X should disappear and then everything should go green. On the right side is your radio antenna. If the X is over that, two things have happened. Your base isn't set up or it's set up incorrectly, um, or it's about 12, 12.30 in the afternoon and the base has died because it lasts about four hours. So once you either swap out the battery and make sure it's powered on or you reset the base up to make sure it's matching the configuration and get rid of that X.